Hi, I'm Talia, one half of the Critics. As you know, we are flying solo for the Durban International Film Festival 2016. Um, the film I watched today, well, I watched two films. One of them was Ariana, an Italian film um, about a young girl who uh, is discovering herself, um, trying, to, trying to discover herself, exploring things as a young woman, as a young person, um, getting to know about relationships, friends, that sort of thing, uh, love, sex, all of that. And uh, she sort of finds out that her parents changed her from being an intersex person into a girl. Um, and she didn't have a choice in this matter. This film was very impactful, very candid about its goal. Um, it, it took a while to build up to the point, but I think, you know, everyone knew where it was sort of heading to. I honestly thought they were going to tell us that she is actually a boy um, that was, you know, uh, that had a sex change by her parents' will uh, soon after birth. But that wasn't the case. She was actually intersex. Um, I think a pertinent form for the LGBTIQ community and uh, an interesting film. The way it was shot was very beautiful. It really showed the Italian landscape um, and lovely, like the, the weather also described, you know, how she was feeling at the time. And I think in general, the film really captured what most young people go through, although obviously it dealt with a much more grave issue of, of um, how intersex people have to accumulate, uh, acclimate themselves into society and, and issues like that. But in general, on the surface level, very much issues that all young people have to deal with, you know, uh, whether it be sexuality, relationships, uh, struggling with your parents, that sort of thing. So the, the film did well on that. Uh, it was quite sexually graphic, but I think uh, necessary in this type of film. Um, you really felt alone with that character and you understood where she was coming from, what she was going through, how she was going through her everyday life, trying to figure out what was wrong with her. And I think all young people go through that at some stage. We're all insecure. We're all, uh, we all have flaws that we you know, stress about and focus on. And she seemed to be developing a lot um, slower than the rest of her friends. Um, I think another theme that came through strongly in this film was how parents often make decisions for their children, thinking that it's the best thing for them, but it's not always the case. Uh, she didn't have her own choice about whether she wanted to live her life as an intersex person or whether she wanted to uh, change, have a sex change and become either male or female. But, you know, she really struggled with it and you really, the, the acting really showed how the parents had struggled between each other as well as how she had struggled with her parents. Um, overall, I enjoyed it, uh, but it was quite graphic, quite graphic for a, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say a festival film, but a film in general. Um, it's also been nice throughout this film festival to watch films in different languages. It's really refreshing to hear another language being spoken in a film. We will be so used to hearing, you know, the usual American accent. But this was in Italian and, wow, it was well done. Great acting as well. I think the main part was so difficult to play, but uh, the, the lady who, who, who did act in that role really, wow, she did a great job. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, Ariana's not showing again uh, at the Durban International Film Festival, but it's something to read up on and research on, and I think a very pertinent film in today's um, uh, climate with regards to the LGBTQI community. Uh, yeah, I, I'd recommend it. Uh, it creates awareness and also on the surface level, highlights a lot of issues that most young people go through in their lives. That's my review of Ariana. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. You can find out what we're doing 
there and also on our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr and the, the dis links to that are in the description box below. Please follow us and find out what films we're reviewing next at the Durban Film Festival, International Film Festival 2016. We've been so privileged to, you know, have access to all of these amazing films and also get to interact with the filmmakers. And you can uh, check out our channel for more on that. I'm Talia and this has been my review of Ariana for the Durban International Film Festival 2016.